Hey everybody, NegraVMX here, and uh, welcome back with more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And uh, yeah, it's been a little while since I last played, just a couple of days, just been busy. So it's Saturday, and I'm willing to get a lot of recording in today. Oh, that is so loud. All right, let's lower that. Okay. Let's get this going. So I should have been in the Glitz Pit area. From what I remember, I remember getting the egg. All right, yeah, got the egg. Um, wrong button. All right, let's get back to fighting. There I go. Ah, say, ah, say. You can tell which one you're supposed to do which door. You're supposed to go in because the guy will move out of the way for you. Hey, look who it is. Andy, Andy, he's always... Oh, but we know that. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? Oh, I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, you ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but... Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's see. Which one do you want to hear about? The sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. Just give me hints. A man-eating toilet. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. I'm saying that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again! Sounds unpleasant. Let's go to the stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. Groaning voices, that doesn't sound good at all. Let's ask about the, uh, the haunted boudoir. They say that the champion's room is haunted! Some say, if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost the champ to the champion. Blah, 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 blah. Right. The spooky ring lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. And let's finally ask about the missing... Oh, there's two more, actually. The missing one. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. I'll ask about Graba and Jolene. Graba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Ms. Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone stalked outside the bathroom? Good point. It is a good point. Here we are. So I'm definitely gonna want to do this because uh, just need to. I just realized that I'm hiding Bandit Camp behind this window, so let me move that down, and there we go, okay. So, I mean, the sealed wall is this, but we don't yet have the ability to do anything about that, so... Let's reserve a match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 14 in the Glitz Pit, the Hand and Overs. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who brung you. A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your part. Well, hopefully Gumbel is useful, because that's who I'm bringing in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be right there. Just checking these. Oh. I realized I never did this before. Okay, let's do it. The egg waits for you. Oh, Alright. Kubel will be fine against these idiots. 
For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Grim Death Burglars. You have a fight to the finish with a hand in overs. We aren't gonna lose the scrubs like you. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! None of these are tabs either, so I'll probably want to do that. Oh. That's a bandit! This scumbag tries to bump in you and grab points! Jerk! Max our point is 5, attack is 2, defense is 0. If you time your guard well when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, look at a man's face when your guard successfully is priceless! If a bandit steals points from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. That looks like we're getting extra defense. Oh, that's fine. Nice! Oh. I was trying to do the B button. Nice! Tattle one of these green ones now. Big bandits. That's a big bandit, basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Max R point is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as coins. Totally weak! If you guard well when he charges you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run! I mean, running away means they lose the battle. Oh, okay. He didn't get anything. That's a bingo! Right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and melt multi bonk see if we can pick this guy up. Oh, almost! Very close. Nice! Alright, no problem. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight, my name is Go Mr. Gonzalez here. Alright. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. Hey, you hear the latest, G-Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check it out for me, man. Should I actually go and do that? I forget if I... I don't know if... I... Do I want to do that? Let's go see. There is a girl in the juice bar. I don't know if it matters if we uh, go there or not. I forget. Might as well check it out. Get out of the way! Get, Jesus! Did I see something there? Oh, it's that end coupon. I don't need that. I still don't need it. Fresh juice! Gets it! Look at this idiot. I gotta talk to him. He wasn't here before. Bonjour, Monsieur Moustache. I wonder what flower that beautiful mountain moselle likes. She is a ravishing, but it's only red rolls, huh? Where is she, funny? In Smash, the first Let's Get Champion, the fighter long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still have the hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. I've seen nothing special happen. She's just going on about Prince Mush. Go fight. Wait. Uh, I should have went in the other one. I just realized that it's all the way on the other side. 
I was like, wasn't it the first door? Oh, yeah, but on the left side, not the right side. My phone's in a bad location for making noises. Let's move it. Get away. Oh, here we are. Yeah, 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 I wasn't trying to press that button. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Goombella, come on. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, let's fix him for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 13 in the Glitz Pit, the Mind Bogglers! Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to hit a buster fella with... Uh, uh, uh. You're something like that. Now get in there and let's see some acrobatic fire. Check this one. Follow me, Bob. Let's do it. Can't use my hammer, but there's fucking piranha plants up there. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez in the Gray and Taglers. You have to fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers. You can lose the scrubs like you. Father Bloom snarled, must have fired on the guard! Get yourselves ready to model! And Gabella's no use against a uh, uh, piranha plant, so I'm gonna have to switch her out. So, uh, let's start by jumping on Dark Puff here. Swap over to. Oh, got me. Nice! 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 Oh, what's he doing? This can't be good. Oh, we knocked some of the audience out. That really sucked. Knocked a whole bunch of the audience out, actually. Take a while to peel them back. Oh, the cuties ran away. Oh, they ran back. Okay. Well, some of them did. That's cool. We got ourselves a win of the great Gonzalez! We, we won? Cool. Oh, jeez. Here's your fake money, Mr. Gonzalez. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Listen, man. Keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, Dig. At the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget that you once knew the King K. Let's put her back in and go to the next battle. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be rank 12 in the Glitz Pit, the Punk Rocks. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's time, follow me, Bob. Yeah. These are clefts. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez and the Green Torture Squad. You have a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks! You have to lose the scrubs like you! This not take long. This end in pain for mustache. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright. Uh, I'm gonna end this quick, so let's do quick camera. Pops them over at least. Um, I should cattle. I don't have these guys in my thing. That's a hyper ball clap! Like claps and ball claps, this is also a rock monster! 
Not sure if one is three, attack is two, defense is two. This hyper version filled up its energy, boosting its attack to eight on the next turn. It has low hard points, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat of Lord goes hyper! Now they're flipped over. I might be able to take him out with a hammer attack, let's see. No, alright. Uh, better use an item then, what do I got? Earthquake, let's do that. Shoot! And you're dead. We got ourselves a winner of the great Gonzalez! See? No piggy! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Some coins, ranking goes up. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. As you can see, King K is indeed gone. Yes. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixin' for fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 11 in the Glitz Pit, the Ba Bomb Squad. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who brung you. A fight to the end side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your part. Stand by your part. Stand by your part. Woo! Now us. match time. Follow me, bud. The bombs are very easy to kill. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez and the big bomb boomers. You have a fight at the finish with the Ba-Bomb Squad! You're not gonna lose to scrubs like you! Here we go, Gonzalez. BOMB! I have advice, just give up now. BOMB BOMB! Get yourselves ready to battle! So first thing I'll do is tattle them. That way I have that in there, and then I'll just use fire drive. That's a Ba-Bomb! And it attacks by blowing itself up! Yeah, real smart. Next sure point is four, attack is two, defense is one. The Baba will get totally mad if you damage it. They have like super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard, like a shell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and use Fire Drive, because that does really well on the Baba. He just instantly kills them. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez! See? No biggie! Here's your faint money, Mr. Gonzalez. Damn yeah, right, bitch. Give me a seven coins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. I think one more battle we should get out of this locker room and into a better one. I'm gonna just gonna. Oop. It's quite lonely without King K around. BOMB! No lonely, him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal to Cleftor. You are in BOMB denial, Cleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker room. BOMB BOMB! Right this way, Sir Swift. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log into this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. It'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, oh. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up. So do a move where you do a triple flipping meow. You got some, You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's hard points to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. 
Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. Why do we gotta hear this all over again? Jesus. I, I like that they're doing it, but then I don't like having to say it again. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to do a triple flip and then meow. Very easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. Yo, yes you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Alright, so since I am ranked 11th, I think this is going to be the last battle out of this room, so let me just do this real, real quick. Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Hooey! You're going to love this. Your next opponent is ranked 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Almond Harriers. That's right, you're Don Tootin. You're finally going to make a go with the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go a letting me down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs to see something flashy. You catch my drift? Give them a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. I think this is the one that you're actually supposed to lose the first time. So. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. That's where the egg comes in. There is a match that you're supposed to lose the first time. And now, today's main event! The Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez! But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouse, the Iron Adonis Twins! First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks! The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez! Kick your iron tail! Don't you dare lose, dude! Oh, that mustache! Woo! The Great Gonzalez! How are you feeling? Whoa, Nelly! You hear that? I love that you can answer like that. You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously each and mix it up some. How you going, burps? Yeah. Good gravy. Iron him out. Whoa, are those spikes, nigga? Yeah, you can't beat these guys. Yup, yup. Your challenger's real confident, boys. Yup, he's talking trash. <laughs> I burped. What are you talking about? Iron Adonis twins. He said, more like paper dog face brothers, and they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Oh, um, yeah. And then he said, Outer belly buttons running their family. Stink wads. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know Mom has an Audi? That jerk! We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal. Then we're gonna drink you! Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stink wads calling the people stink wads! Understand? Stink wad! Super down there, bro. Yo, stink wad. You're gonna regret opening it yet, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. And these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. I like that one's red shoes and the other's green shoes, kinda like Mario and Luigi. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get your sails ready to battle! So I believe I can't even win this. We're gonna do it! We make the major league if we win. Get psyched, Mario! Ugh, give up now! Well, stick once, you're about to learn our skills the hard way. Or at least I could take the opportunity to tattle them. Even though know, they're different looking, they're still just both iron claps. That's an iron clap! That thing is scary, period! Next our point is six, attack us forward defenses. Unknown! What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron claps! It says nothing in the world is as high as iron clap, so its defense are impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. And that's actually what we're going to do to save myself time. Yeah. Out. We got ourselves a winner, the Armored Harriers! Ugh, how'd you like that? They tried to tell you, but no! If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk!
Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You only got like one corner. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, check it out! Our little eggy friend is gone! What a bummer! Where do you think the little guy took off to? Oh! Huh? Yoshi. Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I have safe and sound! Thanks, Mom! What? You were in that cute little eggy wuggy? Wow, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be chomps, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it when I was in the egg. Yeah! Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you! I can hold my own. I swallow any opponent whole. Honest! Just leave it to me! Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it. Why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Now we're gonna name him Yoshi. And by the way, I think the color Yoshi you get is, is somewhat random. I think the first time I played this, I got a black Yoshi. Take Yoshi. Hmm. Yoshi, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it! Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage! The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Yoshi, because that's what you named him. So you can't beat this next thing without him. Yoshi's ability is a primer. Press X to get on and off to Yoshi. It's like a tiny little baby Yoshi, though. It makes it kind of awkward. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. It's kind of like Paracarry, where he gets you across gaps. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use Gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. You need Gulp to beat those clefs. Alright. I never got to tattle this guy or talk to him. So. That's our swoop! He just got on board here! You know, he's the newbie! You definitely notice how quick the turnaround is when new people come in. Those hot dogs outside are amazing! If you have trouble winning, definitely try one! Alright, put Yoshi in. Yeah, let's do it. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be rank 12 in the Glitz Pit. The Handed Overs! Why am I fighting lower rank now? Ah, oh, Jesus. No jumping? Alright, whatever. Ah, uh, I guess we're done this. Even though my rank remained 11, I'm fighting rank 12. We'll do this quickly. Jesus. I guess it's a chance to get used to Yoshi. Where you fuck these assholes? Oh, I didn't see that. That's fine. I'm, I'm trying to get past this quickly. Alright, no jumping. Oh! I'm driving. Gulp is great, because this, this is what you do. Very nice. Nice! Oh, fuck you, dude. Let's have you. And this will end him. Oh, there you go. That all you got, Gooch. Yoshi's kind of hype. Give me money. All right, I'm actually gonna stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with Mayor Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door.